fight! What's up everybody and welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and I let you know if they still hold up. I am author Joe Vallon and I write tragic comedy metaphysical fiction novels, which you can check out here. Okay, hopefully you guys are supporting the arts by purchasing my books at your local bookstore. If not, you can get them on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, you name it. They're out there. Check them out. Unkillable Joe was my first book. The second one, international best-selling author Joe Valen by Joe Valen, a loose sequel to Unkillable Joe. Both really funny, both really weird. Okay, moving on to the versus battle. Today we're going to do Cable Guy versus The Mask. We're having a Jim Carrey-esque bow and i'm gonna start with cable guy this has always been a movie i've liked a lot and i remember when it came out it was really really funny and i laughed really hard and i don't know it was good it was a good movie i was a jim carrey fan and matthew broderick's in it he's cool i don't know it was just an overall funny movie if you ask me it came out in 1996 rated pg-13 runs one hour 31 minutes and this one stars Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, Jack Black's in it for a spell, and Leslie Mann plays the girlfriend. I watched this movie again recently, and I have to tell you that it wasn't as good as I remember. This seems to be a theme of the channel. This is why we have a channel. However, it's still pretty funny. There's still some funny moments in it. Jim Carrey was just off the wall as he is known for. However, it lagged in spots. It was kind of annoying in spots. It wasn't quite as funny as I remembered it. Which is okay. That's, I mean, a lot of these movies don't age very well. Had a budget of 47 million, says here. But Cable Guy is okay. I don't know. I, I got a few yucks out of it for sure. And I did remember what it is I liked about Jim Carrey. Some of his moments really did make me laugh. Um, I don't know. It was cool. You know, it, it was okay. So watching The Cable Guy again, I was struck with kind of how the jokes fell flat now, how Jim Carrey gets quite annoying at times, and uh, I don't know. But playing against the straight guy of Matthew Broderick, it seems to work for some reason. I, I do still like Cable Guy, and for that reason, and that reason alone, I'm going to give Cable Guy a 6 out of 10. I think that's being very generous, by the way. No, I'm not. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. I had to think about that. It's not quite a 6. I'll tell you that. So, you know, watching it again, it's okay, whatever. But going up against The Mask, also starring Jim Carrey, PG-13, came out in 1994. An extra 10 minutes on this one runs 1 hour 41 minutes long. We tried to watch The Mask. And, um, oh boy. And this one stars Jim Carrey and was the breakout role of Cameron Diaz, that's about all you gotta know, really. And I remember when I was a kid just being so smitten with Cameron Diaz, this time around, I was thinking, well, there's a pretty blonde lady, and I didn't really have much of a reaction. So when I was a kid, I thought she was real hot stuff. As a grown man, I'm thinking, well, it's Cameron Diaz, there she is. So there's a bad guy in it, played by Peter Green, who's just kind of awful. The acting's really bad. This is when CGI was kind of new, so we're supposed to like really be into it. And I think that's why this movie was really popular when it came out. It had like effects. It's based on a comic from Dark Horse Comics, I believe. Check me on that in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And I think the mask would lend itself to a really great comic. Kind of a shape-shifting dude, you know, whatever, off the wall kind of craziness would probably be a fun comic. However, in a movie, in a film format with Jim Carrey, it was just kind of annoying. So... I didn't even make it all the way through this movie. I gotta be totally honest. We shut this thing off 40 minutes in. I didn't laugh one time. Nothing made me laugh. It has a weird side plot of like these mobsters and they fell flat and it was just kind of annoying, unnecessary. Jim Carrey's Jim Carreyisms are kind of covered up by the CGI and that just makes it really cartoonish. If you're looking for a great superimposed animated on live action film, you're gonna look at stuff like Who Framed Roger Rabbit you're going to look at stuff like Cool World. You're not going to look at movies like The Mask. I'm sorry, this movie sucked ass. 
I give it a 3 out of 10, okay? So Cable Guy easily defeats the mask, but that's not saying much because Cable Guy kind of sucks too at 5.5. This is kind of a whatever battle, but I didn't really have another movie lined up and I had a busy week, so I didn't really get to watch anything good. So I would just say that, no, you don't need to watch either of them, but if Cable Guy's on, there's some funny moments. The basketball scene's pretty good. The night scene's pretty good. Uh, as things really escalate and he really starts to terrorize Ma Matthew Broderick's character, it is pretty funny. The Mask has almost no redeeming quality whatsoever upon a rewatch, at least in the first 45 minutes, which is as far as I got. I shut it off after that, full disclosure. So call it a half-ass versus battle, but I felt it was fair. Both Jim Carrey vehicles in the 90s, and uh, why not? You know, they were on, I watched them. The point of this channel really lies in whether or not these films hold up, and neither really did, to be honest with you. But I got a few yucks out of Cable Guy. It did have some moments where I laughed, and I thought it was okay. You know, at least as good as like Empire Records or something like that. Kind of a guilty pleasure watch, if you will. I'm not saying turn it off if it's on. That's how you watch The Cable Guy, though. If it's just on, you sit in front of it until you got something better to do. Maybe. But as far as The Mask, there's almost no reason to look at that movie again. As far as I'm concerned, and I'm sorry if I'm hurting your feelings if you like it, but holy cow, that sucked. I'd rather watch Weird Science any day over The Mask, and you guys know I did not enjoy Weird Science this time around. At least it's got that 80s charm to it. The Mask has nothing that I'm into. It's just goofy. And not in a good way either. So, Cable Guy easily defeats The Mask. 5.5 to 3 out of 10. And uh, I think that's fair. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my verdict. And whether or not you like these films, plead your case. It's okay if we disagree, guys. You don't have to hate me, unsubscribe, any of that stuff. But I just didn't like either of these movies again. Sorry. And it's kind of a no-brainer versus battle. Cable Guy's definitely better than The Mask. Because at least you can see Jim Carrey's dumb faces he's making. And some of them are pretty funny. So there you go. Let me know if you agree. And I'll see you guys next time on Is It Still Good?